Well, hello, YouTube. It's been quite a while since I've made a video. I figured why not make the first video back about function generators. It's kind of a complicated subject if you're new to modular. It doesn't really make sense, and there's always people telling you that you should, besides VCAs, you should always own a mass or a function generator. And we're going to talk about really what they do and demystify exactly how they work. Essentially what a function generator is, is a modulator. It can send out LFOs, envelopes, gates, but it does it in a different way than most envelope generators or LFOs. What's unique about a function generator is you can control the rise and fall of the envelope or the LFO, and you can also have a gate sent out in the beginning of those envelopes or at the end of the envelope. And I'll get more in the depth of what that exactly means, but essentially you can send out modulation and send out gates that will trigger other types of modulation or other things in your system. So not only can it send out modulation, it can also be a VCO. Some of them like here, the contour one, which we're gonna be showing a lot of, get a clear shot of that. Um, this one in particular, can be a VCO because it can run at audio rate and then you can uh, put a one volt per octave sequence into it and it'll track it. So really there is a ton of things a function generator can do. I'm just gonna go over really the basics of them and show you a couple patches. So let's get into them. Function generators, what do they do? They send out signals, which modular basically, that's all it is different voltages that can go higher, lower, or stay the same. And that's essentially what a function generator or a slew limiter does. You have a rise and fall. So this is your rise with this slider. This is the fall with this slider. And you're controlling the signal with those two, basically. Then you have bend knobs here on contour one, which are going to control the type of signal you're sending out or the type of envelope. If you're sending out envelopes, it would be a uh, exponential signal, logarithmic in the middle, I'm sorry, linear in the middle, and logarithmic to the right. And what's cool about contour one is you can control the rise with that bend and the fall with this bend. So in this particular patch, what I have going on is filter eight is my oscillator turn up the resonance and that's going into my VCA. And what's cool also about function generators is at the end of the rise or the end of the fall, it will send out a gate. And with this certain patch here, the rise and fall I have going, and that's going to basically that the end of rise right here is going to send out a gate and it's going to clock my sequencer. So I also have the output. So that signal of that rise and fall is going to open my VCA. So I'm using it as the clock source and as a uh, envelope generator. So that's what's pretty unique about function generators is I can get a lot of stuff done with just this one little module. So check it out. I also have the end of the chain going to my phone. So, like I was saying, I can control the rise, so how fast the signal goes. And that's also going to control my clock. Because the end of rise is sending out that gate to clock my sequencer. And then you can also mess with, like I said, the bend, which is now this is a uh, exponential rise. Here's a more logarithmic. I'll change it a little so you can hear the difference. I have a long fall now, but when I turn that fall down, the clock's going to go faster. I kind of like that right there. 
Instead of a linear fall, let's go with a logarithmic one. Or why not make it exponential also? Also mentioned that I'm clocking uh, Mamiophone with the gate out of the sequencer here. So let's just mess around a little bit. <laughs> Very cool. All right, I think that's enough for this patch.